Hi Aries, let's do a collective reading for you today. So today is the 29th of October, 2024. Let's see what's in the energy for Aries today. So whenever you watch this reading is when you're supposed to be receiving the messages. This is just a timeless reading. The Queen of Cups. She's giving her cup. Who is she giving her cup to? Who are you giving your cup to? Aries, is this you or is this somebody else? I feel like it's you. You have the Knight of Swords. So there's action being taken here. There's someone coming, hiding themselves with their words. You've got the Five of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles in the center of your reading today, Aries. The Ten of Cups. The Queen of Wands. The Page of Pentacles, and you have the Five of Wands. Oh, a bit of conflict. The Seven of Pentacles on the back of the deck, and the Page of Swords. There's someone watching you. Could be online. I don't know if I said the date. It is the 29th of October. 2 plus 9 is 11. New beginning. New beginning in your life. What's the Queen of Cups for Aries? The King of Swords. King of Swords, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And the Moon. So you could have been giving to an energy, but I feel like you've stopped giving to that. Okay, it could have been someone that was an ex. Um, it could be someone that doesn't show emotion. Someone that's very logical, could be a boss, a leader, but I feel like you're in your emotions with this person. You've been giving a lot to them. You're drowning in your emotions, but I feel like there is this judgment call of making a decision what to do to cut this out or not, because I feel like you're drowning. You're drowning, giving them all of your energy. What is the Knight of Swords? The King of Coins. And the Two of Wands. So being at the crossroads and making a decision, okay? You could be someone that has decided to focus on your stability or focused on family, legacy. But there's some type of words that I feel or decision. You could have told somebody that you are moving on. But there's something about you giving to, I feel, stability. Or children, the king of coins is also a father, earth energy. But there's this a lot of quick action now <clears throat> given to something else. Okay, you're not giving to something that you were. What's the five of pentacles? The three of swords. So there could have been someone that involved a third party. There could have been some type of misfortune that's made you walk alone. Um, you may not have much money at the moment because of this more misfortune that has happened with someone that I feel you're in a connection with, a lover, Gemini energy. 
but I feel like they could have chosen someone else also, which has helped you make a decision to move on because you were giving to this. You were giving a lot to this Aries. What's the nine of pentacles? The four of wands. So 11, 11, you're on the right track, Aries. Being focused on self. You're someone that's focused on your crop, something that you're building yourself, your independence. And you've got the five of swords. So there could have been some type of conflict. You may have seen that this person chose somebody else, but there will be some rewards I feel coming towards you in the future. This is all meant to happen. You are supposed to be walking away from this because there is some type of reward that's coming straight towards you now. That energy has pushed you out. What's the Ace of Pentacles for Aries? The Two of Swords. So no confusion. Someone that's closed off to their emotions and making these logical decisions now there is some type of new opportunity that i feel is in your life it could have something to do with the material world it could have something to do with stability it could have something to do with family but you're closing a cycle out and opening up a new one okay you're walking into a new world and it's going to leave you very happy it's going to leave you financially stable also something that's going to last um generations what is the ten of cups the three of wands and the star so I feel like now you've started some type of new opportunity. Good fortune will be moving towards you, Aries. You've got the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment, comfortability. Okay, that's what's coming in. Your wish fulfillment because you're letting go of something that I feel you tried to control. I feel <clears throat> that you had no control over it. You tried to control it, but I feel like you're letting that go. Okay, for this new wish fulfillment to come in. And your happiness will come, okay? Now you've closed that cycle out. You've opened the door to new possibilities. What is the Queen of Wands? So the Queen of Wands is your energy, Aries, Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What's the Queen of, Queen? What's the queen of Wands? The Four of Swords. So... You could be someone that is very, very focused on stability. You could be resting, having time to have a break, listening to your intuition. And you've got the Ten of Wands. You need to have a break. You've got the Eight of Cups on the back of the deck. You could be thinking about the past a lot. When you do have a break, but I feel like Aries, you do need to keep going with the Ten of Wands. You're going to be moving into this new world. There may be a lot on your plate right now. Balance your life out. But there's something new and abundant going to come in. Okay? Stop looking back. Look forwards. What's the Page of Pentacles? See, there's this contemplation about this new start here. You've got the six of coins. Worried about giving to something new. Worrying if it's going to be like the past. And you've got the king of cups. This is another energy. There is a newer energy here. The page of pentacles. Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, someone that's in contemplation about giving some type of stability to this. There's like an agreement that this person does want to come in with. This is someone that's been holding back emotion. You've got the King of Cups. Water could be significant. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They may have missed an opportunity in the past with you. To me, they're looking up at that agreement or that exchange with a tear. 
like because they've held back something. But I feel like this is someone younger. They could be new. They see you as the Queen of Swords. They see you as someone that's got these firm boundaries up. You may have cut them out of your life already because there's someone that's held their emotions back. But this person does, they're thinking about wanting to send a message of contemplation, of coming in, coming in to give you some type of opportunity. So it could be something in the material world. Um, I feel like it's something to do, obviously, with stability. Um, so whether it's the material world or love. What's the five of wands? The seven of wands. The Queen of Swords. I feel like you're cutting out the fakes. You're cutting out the failures. The people that fight for you but that don't meet you at your level. You've got these boundaries up like they go through. It reminds me of I've seen, you know, like dealing with the boss at the end. You know what I mean? Like you go through all these levels and then right at the end of the level of a game, you have to like beat the boss. So this person ain't going to beat the boss. You know, there's an, there's an energy, there's a few energies here that, um, I feel are competing for your attention, but you are the boss and you're going to be, um, game overing a lot of people, some people in your life, but some people might make it through. What's the five of wands? The people that meet you at that level, the chariot cancer energy, it could be an earth sign. There's someone here that's wanting to nurture you. You've also got cancer coming out. Could be a cancer. This person could live at a distant at a distance. But there is an energy here that is gonna beat the rest. Okay. And they're also going to beat the boss, you know, the boss at the end of the game. They're going to win the game or win the level. Okay, Aries, you have the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Let's see what these two cards are for you. What's the Seven of Pentacles? The Empress. And the Six of Swords. So there is something you've given a lot to, okay? Something that you're looking at, was it all worth it? But there's something new that you see. There's a new journey which is stable, which is no turbulence. Someone wants to take you on. It's a new idea. I feel like you're leaving an energy, okay? It may be hard leaving this energy, leaving the past. But there's something about looking towards the future, what is the Page of Swords? Who is this? The Seven of Coins. This could be someone that's mirroring you. Someone that's sitting back watching. You've got the Knight of Cups. But they will take that action. Okay, they're going to take action. What's the Knight of Cups? This is someone that wants to come in and show you that they are someone... Um, that is reliable, someone that's enthusiastic to come forward. Then you've got the Three of Swords also. This could be someone that's hurt you. I feel like that, I feel like the past is going to come back. You're going to have to make a decision, Aries, whether you want this in your life or not, whether this person has changed, whether they've, you know, whether they've beat the boss at the end of the game. Okay, let's grab you out two music messages. What does Aries need to know? The Living Years. That song came out for Pisces. Baby, please don't go. Them. Yeah, you've got the past 
coming in, but you've also got a new energy. Whoever beats the boss at the end. Together, K Trinata. So listen to those songs. They will have messages. Aries, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there's a playlist for Aries. I'm also doing personal readings. So if you'd like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. But I love you all so much. I hope you all have a great day. I wish you all the best for your future. You make the decisions in your life. You choose who you want in your life, whether they meet you on a level or not. This is your life. I love you all. Have a great day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.